Kitchen, and I'm your host. Uh, this is live from the Insync Asylum, and this is episode 24. I've had another extended break, which is always good for me, and I hope it's good for you. But I thought I might do a quick podcast today. Um, I'm gonna start it off with a track that was originally on an album that came out in 1984 for a collection of songs called Petty Tyrant. And some of, some of those songs have finally seen the light of day on the recent Trip Note Volumes 1 through 4. And, uh, but this song, it's not on Trip Note. It's actually on Pot Shots from Over the Hill, which came out December 7th, uh, 2020. And some of those tracks could have been on um, Trip Note, but they were actually reworked. And so I tried not to put anything like that on uh, Trip Note. So this is uh, track two from uh, the first... uh, It's really a two-album set, Pot Shots. And uh, this is track two from album one, the one I'm dreaming of. Check it out. I 
was the one I'm dreaming of off of Pot Shots from Over the Hill. Um, earlier this year, I have uh, been releasing uh, the long worked on collection of songs, Trip Note, and uh, the next song I'm going to play is actually the title track. I'm trying to get the info in front of me because I'm really doing this from the seat of my pants. Uh, volume 1 of Trip Note was released on May 28th of this year. And um, this is the original, um, I think. I guess the original original didn't have any overdubs on it. But this is from my very early recordings. I believe this is 1980, 79, 80. I'm pretty sure it's 80. And it is the title track, Trip Note Acoustic, off of Volume 1. And this was um, at the very beginning of my multi-track recording, which was really two cassette decks, one microphone, one guitar, and one amplifier. And I had some kind of a splitter box, and I would record to the first cassette deck and then uh, play that back into the splitter box and out into the cassette deck number two and bring in my additional guitar or vocal or whatever I was recording. And then I would usually turn it right back around and bring it back into cassette deck number one and do it again. So this song sounds like it has a few uh, vocals on it and uh, guitars. And this is Trip Note Acoustic off of the album Trip Note Volume 1. Check it out. I'll meet you where the sky meets the water And there we'll sit behind the blinds And then we'll wonder why we didn't just close our eyes When we got our pass out The air is muggy Go on and drink your wine Don't let it bother your sunny Cause through the vines Everything carries on The real world is gonna let you down The real world is gonna let you down Okay, we're back. And that was uh, from volume one of Trip Note, and it was the title track. Uh, there's two versions of it on volume one, and this one is Trip Note Acoustic, which was the original one. I believe it was written and recorded in 1980, but it could have been written in 79. Really, at this point in time, you know? I don't know. Uh, ignore the lawn crew. Um, might hear some 
whacking and edging in the background. Um, up next, I want to play a track off of uh, volume three of Trip Note. But first, a word from our sponsor. Thank you for listening to Live from the Insync Asylum, brought to you by Starfish Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida, helping buyers and sellers 13 years now. Visit livinginvero.com for more info and visit paulkitchen.com for more music. Volume three of Trip Note. And uh, that came out earlier this year. Came out um, July 23rd. And um, it's a song that was originally written and recorded in 1985. And it was on a uh, collection of songs called Vital Signs, S-I-N-E-S. And um, that was during my eight track reel to reel uh, era. Uh, and um, everything on Trip Note that I could remix was remixed. And uh, this one is a remix of Embrace the Night. Uh, and I have a hard time listening to it and not hearing, to me, uh, the influence of Stephen Stills on me, um, and Trip Note too, for that matter. Um, I mean, I was really into CSN, CSNY, Y, Crosby, Nash, all of them. I loved, I loved them all, uh, particularly um, Stills early on, um, and and Crosby, uh, I think, is just fantastic. I love what's been going on with him. He's showing us how to maintain, how to keep going, how to keep trying, how to keep believing, and uh, you know that you're doing what you should be doing. And uh, which was kind of reinforced a couple weeks ago. I watched uh, Farm Aid this year, and uh, I always look forward to that. Uh, particularly uh, when Neil Young is there. Neil dropped out this year because of COVID. Uh, but uh, most of the other guys were there, including John Mellencamp, who had a really great set. I really enjoyed uh, his, his set. Um, you may know I recorded a Mellencamp cover, Troubled Man, a couple years ago on Magic Moon. And, uh, and I really like what I've heard from his new album that's getting ready to come out at some point here. I'm not sure. But the point is Willie Nelson on this uh, Farm Aid just kind of blew me away. I mean, the guy's in his upper 80s, and uh, I've never, I don't know that I've ever enjoyed him as much. I mean, he was uh, playing guitar great, singing good, funny. It was just a really good set. So along the lines of what Crosby's doing um willie nelson showing you the way how to keep uh, how to keep going so i don't think i smoke enough weed i, I might have to start smoking more if, if willie's the way you know we, we should take that into consideration uh, but anyway back to embrace the night um steven stills i think is kind of underrated and particularly uh the early CSN stuff and, you know, particularly the Manassas album, which was, you know, wow. Uh, great album, great band. And I can just hear that influence. So anyway, check this track out. It's from Trip Note Volume 3, Embrace the Night, written and recorded in 1985, remixed in 2021. Just when I thought I saw the light edge of the tunnel I lost all confidence and I turned to run Just as the spoken word and the bottomless soul became one And 
when I turn the rust The way the lights are shining Embrace the Night remixed from Trip Note Volume 3. And I want to do another track from Trip Note Volume 3 while I'm there. And uh, this one is uh, Civilized Man. I've recorded this tune several times. Uh, but this is one of the er- er- early ones uh, that was never released. Uh, There's a little bit of a reggae groove to it. Uh, The song was written in 87 and was originally on a collection of songs called No Poetry Allowed. And uh, a lot of that stuff, which was never released before, is on Trip Note Volume 3. And uh, No Poetry Allowed is one of my favorite albums I've ever done, along with Living With Fiction and We Dream... um, Abstract Attack, that was never released either, but that's on Trip Note, spread out through it. But um, No Poetry Allowed was was a strong collection of tunes, 1987. And um, this is a remixed version of Civilized Man. Check it out. Fight. 
from the garden, I'm gonna take a bite. Was a civilized man from 1987. It's on Trip Note Volume Three. Uh, it was an eight-track recording uh, recorded to a Tascam 38. Uh, back then, I believe I had a Ramza 18-channel mixer. Uh, I had a Yamaha Rev 7 reverb. I had some kind of delay. Not really sure. We can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, had a Keypex 2, which was a gate. And I didn't know why I needed a gate and what a gate was. But I had one. And I think I kept that plugged in as an insert on the, the vocal track. Um, Microphone-wise, back then, I remember I went into Chuck Levin's in Wheaton, Maryland where I uh, later worked for a year or two. Uh, and uh, 
the old pro sound guy back then was uh, Carl Kulos. And um, good guy, good friend. And uh, he recommended a AKG 451 EB as my vocal mic. And I said, okay. Um, and that was my vocal mic for all those old, a lot of those vocals on uh, Trip Note in these 80s recordings. And uh, on retrospect, it, it sounds really good. Uh, it, it was a phantom powered. But if you, if you look at it now, if you see it now somewhere, it's usually recording hi-hats or cymbals. Never mentioned as, hey, this is a great vocal mic. Uh, the mic I use now, one I'm talking into right now, SM7B by Shure, as uh, kind of like the the hot mic nowadays. You know, you need a, a preamp for it to drive it a bit, but uh, great little mic. But um, all this stuff back then was recorded on a 451 EB which today is a hi-hat mic. All right, moving forward, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, but first, a word from our sponsor. Thank you for listening to Live from the Insink Asylum, brought to you by Starfish Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida, helping buyers and sellers 13 years now. Visit livinginvero.com for more info and visit paulkitchen.com for more music. And I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, recently, I released volume four of Trip Note. And, uh, you know, Trip Note was a project that I've worked on for a good seven years. And, uh, I finally wrapped it up, and uh, I was originally thinking about putting, um, I had an unreleased album that came out, well, didn't come out, (laughs) after And We Dream, in between And We Dream and 93, and uh, just a matter of time in 2000, I had an album called Fighting Gravity, had some really good songs on it. But I was just didn't like the way things were going, and I never finished it. And I was, I had a lot of them geared up to put on volume four of uh, Trip Note. And kind of at the last part of it, I changed my mind because in the same fashion that I did with Pot Shots, where I brought in older stuff and updated it, I have, I've done the same thing with Fighting Gravity. I have it there waiting for me to update it and finish it. So I decided that's what I'm going to do with most of those songs. A couple of those tunes did filter through on here. A Crying was actually off of Fighting Gravity on uh, Volume 4. One Heartbeat at a Time was an early demo from Fighting Gravity, which later came out on A Matter of Time. A uh, different version of it by then. Uh, but what I ended up opting for was some stripped-down mixes um, a while back, I had put out a stripped-down mix of When You Tell Me You Love Me, which was on Blue Tattoo, and I, and I released that as a single, and I, I, I love that. I think it's, I prefer it over the electric version on Blue Tattoo most of the time. Uh, so I thought, why not go back to a few songs that I really like and uh, strip them down and see what they're like? And I did that with a few tracks, uh, which are on volume four and one of them is uh gotta be one of the most uh hardest songs i ever had to write uh but i'm proud i that i did uh and it uh definitely hits close to home Uh, it's called hard to let go so we're going to close out with this uh this is hard to let go stripped mix from volume four of trip note Wrap my arms around you So glad 
glad I found you Wish change had never come Your eyes, they said you loved me And what you needed from me But the day had never come I stand here looking at my best laid plans And think of you And the time it's taken for me to understand It's hard, hard, hard It's hard to let go Can you think about me? And will the thought connect me? Something I'd like to know It's strange to think about you And learning to live without you Something I've never known I stand here looking at my best laid plans and think of you And the time it's taken for me to understand It's hard, hard, hard It's hard to let go You're hard to let go That's going to have to do it for this episode 24 of Live from the Insync Asylum. Uh, please check out paulkitchen.com. I'm also looking to do some writing and some things on uh, Substack, which I recently set up. And if you uh, go to paulkitchen.com, you'll see links to my Substack. I've been following what Patty Smith's been doing with it and love what she's doing with it. So... Uh, they're not going to be podcasts, but I may do some audio kind of things uh, a la what she's doing, which uh, I really like. Um, but then again, back to where we are here. Uh, we just finished up with Hard to Let Go Strip Mix from Volume 4 on Trip Note. Uh, for more music, please go to paulkitchen.com. Uh, follow me on YouTube. Um and there's a video for this song, uh, Hard to Let Go Strip Mix, which is uh, awesome for me. I love it. And um, please check that out. Uh, until we meet again, take care of yourselves. Talk to you soon. Playing, playing 
listening to Live from the Insync Asylum, brought to you by Starfish Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida, helping buyers and sellers for 11 years now. Visit livinginvero.com for more info, and also visit paulkitchen.com for more music.